Welcome to today's featured chess game which is taken from the Aeroflot um, Blitz Tournament of 2019 and as you can see some moves have already been played um, this is um, the Trompolsky attack um, for white a uh, variation that gets away from all the major lines even that of the London system on move 2 for white so um, and this gets away from the Nimzo Indian, Kings Indian, Queens Indian and even the Grinfeld um, normally white plays knight f3 which is also um, on move 2 which is also Kramnik's move um, or it's been uh, seen as his move and c4 is very very normal I don't know how to stop that whistle but anyway so this is a um, board five Grandmaster um, Alex Androvich um, fair versus um, Grandmaster N uh, Nipponi Opshi which is how the Russians actually pronounce it so that's how I've looked at his name um, to pronounce and uh, N Grandmaster N Black is a Russian chess grandmaster. He was the member of the gold medal um, winning Russian team at the 2013 World Team Chess Championship. So, um, very, very good player, must be. Um, so, here we go. Um, with his second move, White intends to exchange his Queen's Bishop for this knight on f6 to disrupt black's pawns this is not a lethal threat okay this is not lethal black can allow to have their pawns um their pawns doubled either their g pawn to f6 or the e pawn to f6 and the uh can choose to fall in with white's plan so black's quite okay with letting this come about the Trompolsky is a very popular alternative to the more common lines as I've already um, outlined the opening is named after the one-time Brazilian Brazilian uh, chess champion Octavio uh, Trompolsky he was um, on the planet from 1897 to 1984 he primarily played this opening um, a lot in the 1930s and 1940s the opening is also called the Zot Z-O-T Julian Hodgson Hodgson sorry and uh, Antonita Stefanova are among several grandmasters who often employ the Trompolsky. World champion Magnus Carlsen has um, occasionally employed this opening too, uh, notably in the first game in of the World Chess Championships 2016 against uh, Sergei uh, Karatin. Uh, Sergei, by the way, was born um, 2003 in the Ukraine and um, he is now 29. He was born on the 12th of January 2009 and since 2009 he has been resident in Russia proper. So here we go. This is this game. And so this is the blitz game so I have got lots and lots of exercises um, set up for it too so I'll just click on the um, actual chessboard itself and here we go black plays Grandmaster N plays E6 and please don't get me to play it's to say um, Grandmaster White's name throughout this because I might get it wrong but I could just call him Grandmaster Fair. Maybe he's to be feared, but 
he looks very very feisty e4 because obviously black cannot capture this now because it's obviously losing the queen h6 and here as promised um, black is relieved of their knight on f6 with this swap queen f6 and now we have um, c3 and um, b6 now so black's choosing to develop properly and to get their bishop out um, here onto this diagonal which will be looking at this point here e4 I wish I could stop that whistle I just don't like it at all so now we have bishop d3 bishop b7 knight e2 good they're both developing they're not like me g6 um so black chooses to put his bishop out to g7 as well so double fin shadow for black castling of course bishop g7 and now we have a nice move what would you play here for white it's a sort of move I would play, so that's a clue. So white now plays f4. So this is quite um, this is quite a good wee setup actually. Um, quite comfortable. I would be I would really enjoy this for white. Now we have um, black plays d6 because they probably want to put their knight somewhere, so they play d6. Now comes a little bit of a, a move away from the idea of um, developing at the stage. Pardon me, excuse me. A4. Now some grandmasters might play A5, but black might um, wish to play um, castling long or short. I'm not sure. So black plays A6. Now, I'm not completely sure that that's the greatest move in the world, but I'm going to ask the engine what it thinks it should play. So we're going to look at what black should play here. Knight c6 is what the computer on, on demand suggests for black. So a6, and we have the main line, of course. So now, as white, what would you think of playing? So it's your move now. Okay, it's your move. What would you play here for white? So one, two, three, because we're going to play blitz because it's a fast game. The move that is played now is quite a handsome looking move. So it's not developing move, it's F5. Well done if you considered this move, but it's probably maybe not even what the computer suggests either it's e5 for um, white here but that probably would go down main lines I quite like d5 so we have f5 and I'll make sure the engine is switched off otherwise it interferes so here's f5 now what would you play here for black So black played gf5 and white of course went ef5. Now what if you, if you want to try and find the Grand Masters move, what would you play here now? This is move uh, 13. That's um, move 12, sorry. So, for black. What would you now play for black? Because this, this is looking quite dangerous, really. Um, this pawn taken here forces queen e6. So, that's a clue. So, maybe e5. No, no, no. Cancel. So, maybe e5. That might be okay. 
uh, maybe something else. So black played queen g5. And obviously this threatens now queen g2 checkmate. Which is something I didn't notice before. <laughs> and uh, white now plays um, what? Or flip the board, what would you play here now? Knowing that I've just um, said that this isn't very good, um, the situation for white. If they don't watch it, they get checkmated. So white played here, ready for it? Knight g3, which um, prevents um, queen g2 checkmate. Now we have knight d7 and black prepares possibly castling on the queen side. So what would you now play for white? White played a sensible developing move, that's the hint. And a move where Usually it's very good if you move, uh, uh, sorry, I've had a few uptakes today, so it's one of those days. So white plays a developing move, which also is a threat at the same time, which is a very, very good thing in chess to do, um, they say. Um, so white plays a developing move and it has a threat at the same time. So good on you if you found queen e2 which is white's 14th move what would you now play for black as the grandmaster as grandmaster n played so what would you play here for black black played e5 well done now we flip the board again and now um, white what would you now play for white a5 uh, 94 like not here f6 um something else white played you ready for it we're going to go abracadabra knight d2 so that's white's 15th move now what would you play here for black which keeps the ball rolling because black doesn't just want to kind of grovel. Maybe black wants to castle here. Seems like a good idea. Notice the red arrow. Maybe black wants to do something else instead because that looks a bit scary castling because we're going to have our we're going to have our a pawn go amiss rather quickly. Even though this knight can be taken on d2 afterwards. So black now played, if you're ready for it, 15 h5. So we'll go back to white's position here. Now white played, sensible move, uh, knight to e4, queen g4. Now what would you play for white? Do we take the queen on g4? Do we move our queen away from capture? Do we leave our queen there? What do we do? 
Grandmaster Fear played, as promised I'd use that as his name, Grandmaster Fear played Rook F3. Now Black Castles. Now this looks really like a mistake because White now just plays Bishop A6 which is a very obvious move. And it also pins the Bishop if I'm taking this Knight on E4 should it be possible. Now we have e4. Now does black get met with cd4 here or something else? So what would you play here for white? And it's an onwards and upwards move. It's an onwards and upwards move. Because white has to be careful of this um, queen is protected by the bishop only and the knight. So anyway, what would you play here for white? Is good on you if you found it is a5. Now comes dc3 and white responds with the 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 logical move, captain. Um, Captain from Star Trek BC3 now for black now what would you play so you black so white's obviously completed the development so is black really what would you play now Maybe um, H4. Maybe something else. So, like, let's say black plays H4. What could you play for white here? If H4. What could you play for white here? Which uh, looks quite embarrassing for black. If H4, I bet you the computer will play it. Um, I think that H3 is coming. No. <laughs> H3. Okay. So that would be looking quite good for um, for black, for white, for white. I think it looks quite good for white. So we will go further into this game. Black played the um, centralizing rook move, rook h8. So here we have the main line proper. So what does happen with h3 of course, is black has queen h4. So bishop b7, king b7, pardon me again, a b6, knight b6, Now you are white, and what would you now play for white? Which is a wee bit of a surprise move, really. In some respects, it's, it's, it's getting the the pieces for white are a little bit um, kind of maybe in trouble a wee bit sort of thing. That the the not very good on the king side in my opinion I'm probably wrong um, the there's threats of possibly Bishop c3 without going into um, looking at it in a deep way as I'm just flitty looking at it um, so what does white play here 
Well, what would you play here? So the move that white plays is a surprising move, f6. Now, this can get complicated, especially for um, three minute and two seconds chess. And after f6, um, what would you play? It would be, um, I don't think I worry too much about that one. Um, f6, um, I'm wondering, I actually wonder what the computer plays here. Or under demand, bishop h6, which is the actual um, grandmaster move. So bishop h6, uh, I'm not entirely completely sure what happens after um, bishop f6, probably knight f6, and rook e2 and knight g4, and hg4 and knight e2, and gf3 and gf3, something like that, I don't know, but it, it doesn't look entirely great. So anyway, bishop h6. Now white um, got out of this um, pin from the queen and knight on e4 with queen a6. So you're black. Where will you move your king? So this is check of course. So where are you going to move your king? Are you going to, you got two choices of course. Can't take the queen. So you got either king b8 or king c6. What move do you think the grandmaster played? <sighs> the grandmaster played, uh, well done if you consider this move because these are all sorts of important moves to be able to play as well as king c6 so now we flip the board again now another exercise for you should you choose to accept it is what would you play now now this is a this is quite a good move um, it's possibly easy to see but it's a very good move Helicopters, um, you might be able to hear it, maybe not. But anyway, what would you play for white here now? And some quite a nice move, but it's sort of like easy to see too. Is well done, rook a4. Uh, obviously, the knight cannot capture the rook, so white's threatening to bring the, the knight and the rook, sorry, um, into play here. So now, to prevent rook c4 check, what would you now play for black? Now came 25, move 25, d5. So equal to the task, I suppose. Now it's your move again, and what would you now play? Now notice as a clue that this rook is actually attacking this queen. 
if the knight moves somewhere. If the knight moves somewhere. But if we move the knight back here, we're going to have troubles with bishop takes um, knight, but more so we're going to have trouble with queen takes rook. So this looks like a good move for um, black, doesn't it? If knight here, then black could play rook e1 check and then take the rook with the queen as the queen is defended by the knight on b6. So what does white play here? A very nice move, but very important. And also attacking the queen at the same time as white plays 26, knight c5. So that if the king takes here, then just rook takes g4 should suffice. So black actually could try bishop e3. Um, maybe. I'm going to ask the computer yet again what black thinks on demand what black should do. Queen c8. It's probably a good move actually. So, and it gets rid of the problem with the queen. So that's what the computer reckons. We have now, um, what did white play, um, black play now? Uh, what would you play here for black other than the queen c8 move? is rook here, rook a8, now white played queen b7 check, king d6 only move, and now the easy move for white to play is rook g4. Now, should black just play hg4 now, or what? What should black play now? Black played rook a1 check. And here came rook f1. And bishop e3 check. And only move king h1. And then rook f1 check. And knight f1. And black played hg4. So what did white do now? What do you think you do for, for white here? Now, this was a thought when I was looking at this game today um, or or g3 so here white I think took a wee while on this uh, a wee few seconds on this move so what would you play for white given that the bishop can be taken except it gets a wee bit sort of messy. If we take this bishop and then look, the rook takes, then we have to watch our back rank for white rookie one checkmate. So um, if we want to after knight e3, rook e3, play h3, then we're going to get g3 and we have to work out problems for white because it looks like white has to start defending and then black can get to a reasonable position even though it's queen for rook and minor piece, knight in this case. So white played something that um, stopped all these problems is knight a6. Now for black what would you do? 
Obviously, black is threatened with queen c7, etc., which is almost checkmate, and queen here, which picks up this rook on e8. So black played uh, a defensive move here, and well done if you saw it. It's a bit hard to put the knight into the, the rook one square, as it used to be called. Now came queen b4 check, and I think is c5. And now what? We can't go queen b6 check, as black's defending and everything. Do we go queen b7? Do we go queen b5? Do we grovel away? We've got to watch our back rank. No, white played queen g4. Now came a wee bit of a surprising move. Um, what would you play for black? Is black played a bishop move? Okay. So black played bishop c1, which is possibly looking at rook e1 here. And if the queen comes to try and... Um, Play queen can't go anywhere, David. Um, if the queen wants to um, defend the back rank, we might want to play queen f3 or queen f5 to defend the knight on f1 or something else. So white played something here. What would you play? And this is a safe move because this prevents. Um, rook down to the 8th rank for black. So now I've told you uh, white plays queen d1. And the bishop moves away to g5 attacking the f6 pawn and here comes um, is it um, c4 here? No, knight g3. Sorry, I'm completely wrong because white has to be very careful of the back rank. So knight g3, rook e5, now what would you play? For white, of course. Now white plays a sensible move with a left move, which is h3. So he can get his king out to h2 if it needs to get out, even if the bishop's pulling the knight on g3. So knight b6. And I think it was... Um, A nice move now. So what would you play here for white? And the queen remains, if you want to have a clue, the queen remains on her back rank. So it's one of six moves. Queen b1. So now, of course, the knights, the, of course, the, the horse is attacked. So black plays knight d7. And this prevents the queen infiltrating to b8 or b6 thereof. Now, do we play knight f5 check? That looks quite interesting. Or do we play something else? So what would you play here for white? White played knight b8. And here came a wee bit of a surprising move. Uh, it looks like maybe white 
will be met with knight f6. But then um, queen b6 looks quite good for white. So white is met with uh, an odd move, but maybe it's a good move according to the computer again. So it's bishop d2 is coming up next. Oh, bishop e4 is what Fritz Levin suggests. So while that, um, black plays bishop d2. And here, um, the pawns attacked, of course. So white now plays a move here, which is one I promised earlier on. Oh, no, it's not. It's queen b5. And rook e1, and we have to go king h1. We're not looking at anything else. We're not really wanting to play knight f1 here, because then the knight has to look after, be looked after with um, the overloaded queen. So if knight f1, then black would be able to capture this knight on b8 now, even though white has queen b8. So I haven't really looked into that, but knight f1 is not really a sensible move. King h2 is way better. And here we have uh, Black's 41st move is knight f6. So here we have queen b6 check, king e7 or e5. Okay, so what, where would you play your king? Would you play your king to e7? Or would you play your king to e5? Multi-choice question. One's worse than the other. Here we have, if king e7, then I think that knight f5 check would be a good move for white next move. Maybe even queen c7 is the computer showing, but it looks to me like knight f5 is quite a good move. So black went king e5. And... Um, Here comes queen c7 check and king e6. Got to stay in proximity to protection of this knight f6. Here we have knight c6 which is um, quite good. Now this is threatening something. What's that threatening? It's threatening just queen e7 checkmate. So white is met with d4. Now the move I said before, what does white now play? Does white take this pawn? It looks alright. Or does white play something else? White plays c4. Now, what would black play? What did black play now? Because this is a big threat, isn't it? So black played a similar move to knight a8 before, and now went knight g8, defending e7.
Now haven't we just got this almost, but we haven't, okay? Because if we go queen c8, then black can play king d6 and it will be swapping this knight for that knight. So what did white now play? Is the last part, it causes immediate resignation by uh, Grandmaster N from now Russia. The final move was 98 check and that is the end of the session. I hope you enjoyed that game with lots of exercises for you. Uh, always good in chess for you to to have a look at these sorts of things. Um, there's no real move here then because it's the knight check the knight cannot be captured so the king can only move to this square queen f7 and then we are able to um, capture this knight or play queen we will capture this knight I would leave it at that Thank you very much for watching this YouTube chess channel for you. I hope your chess is improving no matter what level you are at. Thank you. Bye-bye.